Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to or back to my channel. I'm sitting on my bed right now in my apartment in New York. That's actually a photo of one of my favorite beaches in Hawaii at sunset. And I just love sleeping underneath it because it just, you know, is home. I just got back from an event and still have some energy. So I thought it would be super fun to tell you guys a couple like funny things that have happened to me in New York because New York is a crazy city and I have some pretty funny stories of like things that have happened to me. And I realized that I'm wearing a sweater that says New York. I didn't even realize that until just right now. First story is kind of embarrassing. I'm just letting it go. So I moved to New York when I was 17 years old and I moved here by myself. I didn't really know anybody, got an apartment on my own. And I was walking home from castings one day. It was probably like fall time because I was wearing a jacket and jeans um, and like loafers, like white leather loafers. And here's the thing about New York, that you have to use the bathroom. If there's a bathroom, use it. <laughs> you guys can kind of see where this is going now. The bathroom in a restaurant, like use it before you leave. Always use the bathroom before you leave your apartment. It is hard to find bathrooms out there. Public bathrooms, like it's hard to find them. You, you can go into a Starbucks, but a lot of the time you have to buy something in order to get a code to go to the bathroom. So I feel like when you live here, you kind of have your like designated bathroom spots of where you can use the bathroom. Like, oh, I can go into that gym. Oh, that, that Whole Foods, that bad of a bathroom. I think this was like two weeks into me living here. Little old me, I didn't know this about New York yet. I didn't know that like you had to have your designated spots and that there's not flipping bathrooms everywhere. So here's little old me, do to do to do. I like go to my castings or do whatever I was doing that day. I don't even remember because this is the highlight of it. The walk from my apartment to the train was probably two avenues, which is like four, equivalent to like four or five blocks. And I had to go, I had to pee and I was like, you can make it, like just keep walking, you'll be fine. Don't think about it, you'll be fine. So I got on the train and I was like, oh, this is getting serious. I need to book it home so that I make it home in time before I pee my pants. And I'm walking as fast as I can. I probably look like a crazy person. Two blocks away from my house, there's a bus station. And I, it was to the point where like, I had to sit. I was like, I can't even stand anymore. Like I have to sit because if I stand, I'm gonna pee my pants. Like it was that bad. <laughs> so I called my mom because I call my mom for everything and I'm like, what do I do? I, I can't stand, like, I don't know what to do. I'm literally gonna pee my pants on the streets of New York. This is two weeks into living here and I'm like, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already messing it all up. Like I'm already <laughs> peeing my pants on the street. I think at this bus stop and she's like, she's like, Caitlin, you just have to book it. Like you need to run home, you need to hold it and you need to just like get home because then in my mind i was thinking okay i get there and then i have to stand and wait for the elevator and then get in the elevator and ride the elevator and like there were so many steps to getting home that like i i wasn't able i was like i'm not going to be able to hold hold it for that long like i had to pee that bad mind you never in my life have i ever peed my pants like it's never been never peed the bed like it's not it wasn't like a thing. I'm with my mom still on the phone at the bus stop and she's like, you just gotta do it. Like you gotta freaking book it. I was like, shit, okay. I'm like taking a deep breath. I was like, okay, I gotta concentrate. Like I will let you know how it goes. So I hang up with her. I hold on to my bag and I'm like, Caitlin, you need to hold your pee in, be an adult and book it back to your apartment. I think a block into it, I was like, hit me and I was like, there's no way I'm making it. I can't keep running because every freaking step, my, my, it was like about to come out and I was like, I'm literally about to be my pants. And it slowly started coming out and I walked down the stairs to this like, there's an apartment entrance that you could go down the stairs into it. And it was like in the back of the building. I was like, this is where I have to use the bathroom right now. And I walked down the stairs, peed my pants, peed like, and I, it wasn't just like, oh, a little bit. I fully peed, like I peed my pants, like my pants were drenched. There's pee in my shoes. It was horrible. And I called my mom and she's like, did you make it? And I was like, I'm literally standing downstairs 
in an entrance to a basement of a building soaking in my pee. I literally peed my pants. I peed my pants on the street of New York. Like, I, w I was like, how am I gonna get home? Like, I peed my pants. So then I had to walk a block home in my soiled pants and shoes. I washed the pants, but I, I was just like, I can't deal with them. The shoes were ruined. I peed my pants on the street of New York at 17 years old, people. Sometimes life just hits you and that happened to me. <laughs> and I learned from my lesson. And now I have designated bathrooms. If you're ever gonna move to New York or you're new to New York, find your bathroom spots, girl, because you don't wanna pee your pants on the street of New York. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't even with myself. I haven't told that story in a really long time. Funny things that have happened to me in New York. There's like a, f a really long list of things. I'm just like, I cannot believe I just did that. And I can't believe I'm sharing it with you, but that's that. You guys know all of me now. Every, not every embarrassing story, there's a lot more, but <laughs> basically what I get myself into. Um, okay, what's another crazy thing? Oh, this actually happened to me recently. So the subway is how you get around in New York. It's how I get around in New York because it's so much faster than catching a car because the traffic here is crazy and it's way cheaper. Sometimes there are some characters on the trains and like, that's totally fine. Everybody normally just like keeps to themselves. And if there is a character on the train, like I try to be aware that they're there, but I don't like give them attention because I don't want to like start anything. I was meeting a friend to watch a movie in Brooklyn and I caught the train from where I live in Manhattan to Brooklyn. And on the train, I was standing because there were no more places to sit. And there's like doors that open and close like elevator doors to get in and out of the subway. And so I was standing on the left side and the right side was open. And I like noticed this guy when I got on the train, he, he was sitting and he was playing a game on his phone, but he had looked up a couple of times, like really mad and like distraught. And like, he stood up and like, like, like got freaked out and then sat back down. So I was like aware of his like instability. And all of a sudden this guy stands up. Something must've happened on his game that made him really mad. And he stands up and walks in a circle and then towards me, but to the right, or where was I standing? The right, but to the left. And there's windows in the subway. He smashed his head against the window and it shattered. And I was literally like, he was like right there. Like I literally was standing there and I was like, like, oh my God, I, I don't even know what's happening right now. I'm listening to ratchet music on my phone. I was listening to back that ass up <laughs> and I was literally like, I have to back this ass up out of this train right now. So I tried not to like give him attention, but at the same time I was just like, what just happened? Like I was leaning against the door. So I felt like the jolt of his like energy hitting the door and smashing the thing. And it didn't, nothing, nothing like shattered or hit me, but Thank God I was getting off at the next stop and I was like, I'm back my ass up, out of here. That was freaking crazy. It's crazy that stuff like that happens here. There's so many wild things that happen on the streets of New York and like you never know what you're gonna run into. And most of the time they're great things, like amazing things, like you'll meet cool people or like, I don't know, but sometimes they're a little scary. And that one was like, I was like, wow, okay, that really happened. Like. I live in New York and crazy things like that happen sometimes and it happened. Everyone was fine, but poor guy, I felt bad for him. I was like, well, um, so yeah, I hope that you guys liked this story time. Like and subscribe. I hope that you like this and tell me what you want to see more of. If you want to see like more stories, because I have lots of retarded stories that I've been through. <laughs> I'm working on a nutrition series right now, actually, that I'm really excited about because I really want to share that side of my life with you guys because I'm super into nutrition. I'm studying it in school. I have a few certifications. Um, and so I'm working on a series and building that out for you. So that'll be super fun just to like educate you and how I, how I got into it and how I do it and all that fun stuff. So thanks for watching and i hope you like this video like and subscribe and
yeah.